What's up everyone, this is Velvet Unicorn, and welcome to Guns of Modern Warfare 3 Episode 8. This is a series in which I'm taking all the guns in the game Modern Warfare 3, running a free-for-all of them, and giving you my thoughts and opinions about the guns along the way, um, with also a few little stats along the way too. So, today's gun is the M16A4, also known as just the M16. It is one of the first assault rifles you are going to get unlocked at level 5, and it is a 3-round burst weapon. It is kind of fairly accurate, but it only has a um, fire rate of 400 rounds per minute, which even for a fully automatic is rather slow. Add in the three bursts and it's just not really that good at all. It takes average three to four bullets to kill, three if you're up close and two f and four far away, and it's a two-shot headshot, like point-blank range, so you're not going to expect to do really well with this gun. Um, this is actually probably the worst the M16 has been in any game that it's in so far. Um, the one in COD 4 was kind of overpowered, and then the one in Black Ops kind of, it was really good, but not nearly as good as COD 4. Now, this one is just a nightmare. Now, um, I'm doing this free for all on Dome, and uh, this is really not a good map to use the M16 on, because really it's going to be a long range weapon anyway, but once you're trying to use it in a really short range map, it's not going to work out at all. Now, um, as attachments go, um, I I'd pretty much say you have to use rapid fire. There are obviously a few people out there who can do a get away without rapid fire, but um, like let's compare this to the Type 95. With rapid fire, this thing barely shoots faster than the Type 95 without rapid fire, and it doesn't do nearly as damage as much damage as the Type 95. So it's kind of a piece of crap gun anyway. So I'm um, giving it rapid fire really will help a little bit and try to get all of your bullets on the target because as opposed to the Type 95, which is a two bullet kill, this is a three as I said earlier. So um, you're really going to need to get those shots down on people um, as quickly as possible because chances are it may even take, if you're that far away, it may take more than one burst, which is kind of pathetic, really. Um, so assuming that you're going to be using rapid fire on almost any class, um, I, I do recommend you use the red dot because I don't really myself care for the, um, the iron sights on this one. I preferred them in Black Ops, but in this game they seem like really big and awkward, so I like to use the red dot and this is actually one of the only guns in the game where I like to use one of the custom reticules I think the one I'm using in this game is called like Omega or something I think it's like the second to last one um, that you unlock but so like for some reason if you take the red dot that I'm using in this game right now and you aim it at like their torso area um, with the recoil that the M16 has if you're using rapid fire Oftentimes it will go up and it will actually give you more headshots than you otherwise would by using the normal red dot. So um, that's why I like to use this one. Um, if you just kind of line up that bottom line that's on it, I don't know if you can see right now because I'm not actually looking at the gameplay, but um, when you line that up at like the base of their neck or like their mid torso, upper torso, then it'll normally kick up and give you a headshot. Um, but I wasn't having that much luck in this game. Um, the score is kind of, it's a modest score. It's not really the best. 30 and 9 because, um, Really, this gun <laughs> is just so bad. I wasn't really, I didn't really feel that excited about using it because I had just got a gold, and I was pretty tired of doing, of using this gun just after getting a gold because it's so, it's such a garbage weapon. <laughs> so, um, really, I think the only reason that people are going to be using this um, is if they're kind of bored with the game, because um, like really, I was getting pretty bored. I'm still kind of getting pretty tired of this game because I'm maxed out on everything and. There's really nothing left for me to do except get the few gold guns that I don't actually have. That doesn't even really take much skill. That just takes playing it a lot, and that's not always the best or the most entertaining thing to do. Um, but so you're really only going to want to play this if you're using it for like a feeling of nostalgia and really kind of being disappointed of how crap this gun has gotten with each each COD game that comes out. <laughs> so um. Yeah, pretty much you're going to want to use rapid fire. If you don't use rapid fire, I mean, if sorry, if you don't use rapid fire with another attachment or you don't use rapid fire at all, I would at least go with a red dot sight, maybe even a holographic because that'll give you a little extra zoom and I feel that if you don't have a um if you have any more zoom than the holographic gives you it, it kind of amplifies the recoil a little too much unless you're aiming at like their pelvis or something like that. It's going to be way too bouncy. You're not really going to be able to hit anything. Um, so if you're not using um, the attachments proficiency using rapid fire red dot or whatever, um, I do recommend that you use focus because that is really good for these three burst weapons. 
because if you get hit and well, especially with the M16, it's going to be hard to, for you to recover and you can only really shoot once. So, um, being able to get that one shot onto people um, or a second, obviously, if they're shooting you, is going to be really beneficial. And uh, using the focus proficiency really allows you to do that a lot better than you normally would. Um, and I'll also a little note I'll, uh, away from the series. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of getting tired of this game really because there's the amount of hacking that's going on is kind of ridiculous. It's very hard for me to find a game that doesn't have hacks in it, either that or isn't extremely laggy. And to be honest, I'm kind of tired of trying to deal with hackers and keep leaving the games. I tried playing S and D not that long ago and it was a nightmare. And people have changing names all over the place and it's just it kind of altogether just broken. But um, I don't know how I'm, I'm not I don't really know how I'm going to deal with it. I think I'm going to kind of not come out with these um, episodes as often. I'm going to get through them, don't worry, but I'm probably not going to play um, Modern Warfare 3 that much, if at all, until a patch comes out, which they have had rumors about. Um, l I mean, luckily for me, Free For All isn't the worst when it comes to hacking, but there are still a ton of hackers. Pretty much everyone nowadays runs around with their little red box hacks and FMB akimbos, and it's really a pain. So um, I apologize if I don't really get these out that often. I just don't really want to play a game that's being infested by hacks. I'll probably get out more Black Ops videos, even some Gold 9 Conduit 2. I've been kind of feel like playing Gold 9 lately. But um, yeah, so this game is kind of coming to a close. Um, yeah, I'd, uh, As I said earlier, I really don't recommend that you use the uh, M16 unless you're really going for a nostalgic feel or you just want to feel cool for using a gun that's awful, like I tend to do because I just... Not because it makes me feel cool, but just because there isn't really anything else that I want to do in this game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, if you please leave a rating. That really helps a lot. Or subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so I think the next gun I'm going to be doing is the Scar L. So hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.